every six months. Erica Paco orients herself for the latest exploratory tests. Mammograms. MRIs. Perhaps a biopsy of breast tissue. Each day tests are done. He nervously waits for the results. Same thought buzzing in his head this time. The former international model and ex-wife James Packer. One of Australia's richest men. May seem genetically blessed. But he lives in fear he carries the same unidentified genetic mutation that caused the breast. Cancer killed his mother. Sheila. At age 66. And nearly all her mother's female relatives. Biennial scans and tests keep Erica on edge. Breast cancer has been a deadly thing in my family, says Erica, 46, from her home in London. It's scary, she says, and the best thing she can do to reduce risk is endure the emotionally exhausting routine of getting breast cancer screenings every six months. I've always had a biopsy. You don't know the results for days. So you get into this very vulnerable position. He tells Australian story. It's a bit like playing Russian roulette. Erica's older sister, Joe Hunter, knows what it's like when these tests come back positive. Sydney Sider, 39, and a mother to four young children, was diagnosed with breast cancer. She had double mastectomy and breast reconstruction. She is the only woman in the family to survive a breast cancer diagnosis. The sisters and scientists say the predisposition to breast cancer is hidden in their family's DNA. Within six months, Joss' breast scan results were clear. She had progressed to multiple signs of a tumor in her breast. Some inherited gene mutations are known to increase the risk of breast cancer. The BRCA1-BRAC2 mutations are the most common and best known. Hollywood actress Angelina Jolie revealed that she has the BRCA1 gene mutation opted for a conservative double mastectomy. Joe, now 50, was tested for these mutations a year after her diagnosis. She was not a carrier. The National Breast Cancer Foundation has named these mysterious genetic errors that go through the missing matches of thousands of Australian families. Joe and Erica grow up in London. The NBCF managing director, Cleola Andres, said, Joe and Erica's story is not an unusual one. There are many, many Australian families with a very similar story. Women can now be tested for up to 10 genetic variants. With more than 40 studies conducted at facilities like Victoria's Peter McCallum Cancer Center. Now Joe is being retested in the hopes that these new discoveries in genetics may help unravel the mystery that has gripped her family and others. For generations, an unidentified gene mutation leaves a cloud of uncertainty over Erica and Joss' family. Smack in the face with your own mortality rate Erica is not looking for the spotlight. The woman who once dated stage screen star Jason Donovan flies to Jamaica, Cuba for exotic fashion shoots partied with Elton John is happy to stay low profile while raising the children she shares with James Indigo 15 Jackson 1